Hello guys and welcome. So this is my 1953 Yava 250. Uh, it's a Yava's famous motorcycle produced from 1946 to 1953 or 54 I believe. It's a two-stroke engine four-speed gearbox and I'm going to make it ready for the season now. So uh, let's check the oil level, let's check the ignition timing, uh, remove the cylinder head, look inside, clean, clean the piston uh, and just do regular maintenance, lubricate everything, check the tension of the chain and so on. So let's get into it. enough Right, so this is the dynamo with ignition mechanism on it, with the voltage regulator and with the carbon brushes over there. The brushes seems, seem to be okay, so there's no need to replace them. The only thing I'm going to do is clean the collector uh, and then mount the dynamo back. And then the next job is to set up ignition timing properly. And for that, the first job is to set the distance between the contacts over there. It should be like 0 0.35 to 0 0.4 millimeters. So we need to use the, the gauge to, to check that and adjust if needed. Once this is done, we can set the ignition timing properly, uh, uh, which should be 3.5 to 4 millimeters before the top position of the piston. So that's the time that the spark plug needs to ignite. So let's get into it. Okay, now check the distance between the contacts, 0 0.4. doesn't fit 0 0.35 no 0 0.3 so 0 0.3 is probably the current value so let's make the gap a little bit wider that should be it Thirty 
yeah, it's somewhere between 35 and 40. Job done. Right, so now let's remove the tank because we want to check the cylinder and the cylinder head uh, needs to be removed for this job. So this is done more easily when the tank is off. go okay so there is some carbon on it so let's clean it and let's move the piston down so that we can see the bore and check it for scratches and other problems okay so the bore looks all right no big scratches no no big problems let's leave it as is and clean the piston So for the setting of the ignition, uh, I use this simple tool. It's just a wire with LED on it and two contacts. And this will be connected between the ignition mechanism contacts, basically. So at the moment the contacts separate is the moment when uh, this LED will turn on. And that's the precise moment when we need uh, the piston to be 3.5 or 4 millimeters before its top position. So I'm going to connect the tool over there. This will go anywhere on the mass like that. And this needs to go on the other side of the contact. So the current flows like that over there and here is the here is the contact so once this separates this should uh, turn on so let's turn the ignition on and see whether it works so rotate the engine yeah so this is the point i hope you can see it let's go back few meters like that 
Yeah. All right, so the ignition is on. Let's rotate the engine and search for the moment when LED lights up. Okay, so the reading is four millimeters, let's say. And let's go on. One, two, three, and going back. Okay, so it looks like uh, we need to advance it a little bit and it should be okay. Five. So one, two, three, four and a half, which is a little bit too much. So let's go back a little and that should be okay. Okay, so I did another adjustment. Final, I hope. So let's double check it. Okay. 4.5 and now continue. 1, 2, 3 and a half. Okay, so we are there. So ignition timing done, now it's time for the inlet filter to be cleaned. I haven't done it for at least a year or two, so it's about then time. Okay, so the next job is the chain. The chain is very loose. Look at that, it's just too much. So let's move rear wheel back a little and tighten it up. So 
So what I'm doing here now is that I'm rotating these screws over there, which cause the rear axle to slide backwards and thus tightening up the, the chain. Let's do a few more turns. One, two, three. The same on the other side. Okay, so now let's put her down and let's see if she starts. Fuel on, tickle the carburetor, close the intake, three kicks and go. Ignition on. fired right up. I'm really pleased with that and I'm gonna take her for a spin tomorrow. Uh, there are a few more things to be done but overall I think she's ready for the season. So thank you all for watching and see you next time.